As many of you may know, Breath of the Wild contains hundreds of references and easter eggs that call back to past games in the series. In an attempt to find all these connections, I have already made videos that went over all the references to Skyward Sword, Ocarina of Time, and the original game. But this time, I want to take a step further and analyze all Twilight Princess references and easter eggs that I found within Breath of the Wild, as there sure are a lot of great ones that most people missed even to this day. With that said, let's get right into the video. To start this off, let's go over the most noticeable connection between these two games, which is the Great Bridge of Hylia. First seen in Twilight Princess, this grand bridge is the main pathway that stretches across the span of Lake Hylia, and actually makes a return in Breath of the Wild that still holds many similarities to the original, like the grand archways found on each side of the bridge. However, considering that Breath of the Wild's version is over three times longer than the one found in Twilight Princess, I do think that this bridge was once torn down and later rebuilt in order to match the size of the ever-growing Lake Hylia. This also explains why the structure has undergone many changes between the games, such as the addition of a central roundabout and the fountain right in the middle, but it is still clear that most of its similarities and even the name itself was inspired from the original structure. You can also find another bridge in Breath of the Wild titled the Bridge of Elden, that was actually named after the grand one found in Twilight Princess, but besides the name itself, these bridges have just about nothing in common and are completely separate structures. Regardless though, I still did appreciate this little easter egg nonetheless. The next locational reference that can be found in Breath of the Wild is the Arbiter's Grounds, which is just a shell of the grand structure that originated in Twilight Princess. Although this location boasts the same name as the one found in the past game, it is practically indistinguishable to any other pile of ruins found within the desert. There is no real explanation to how the temple got reduced to this state, but my theory is that it was simply torn down at the end of Twilight Princess, considering that there was no use for it after the Mirror of Twilight was destroyed. As far as we know, the ruins fall within Breath of the Wild may not even be from the temple itself, but rather from the outskirts that prelude the temple, as this formation of busted pillars and archways more closely matches this particular area. While still on the subject of Arbiter's Crowns, there is actually another easter egg found within Breath of the Wild that has to do with the temple's most prominent feature, the Mirror of Twilight. Although this mirror was shattered at the end of the game, a replica of it can actually be found in Breath of the Wild as part of the side quest of Fragmented Monument. Not only does this replica look similar to the Mirror of Twilight, but it is also divided into four separate quadrants, just like the one in the original game. Despite there not being any story connection between the replica and the mirror itself, I still thought that was a really neat way to reference this past game. Breath of the Wild is known for having many locations named after characters from past games in the series, and Twilight Princess is definitely no exception. In the Elden region, there is an area called Dar Pond, which is actually named after the Goron Patriarch Darbus, most notably known for transforming into the evil igniter Phyrus, Twilight Princess's second dungeon boss. There are also two other important characters within this game that get locations named after them as well, Prince Rails and Queen Rutella, with the Rails Dam and Rutella Pond respectively. These two Zoras were prominent characters back in Twilight Princess, so it made sense that they both got locations named after them right near Zoro's domain. Before we dive into the last major reference for this video, I do want to talk about one hidden Breath of the Wild easter egg that can be found in the HD version of Twilight Princess. Upon going to Hyrule Castle and entering the shop, Salib, teases to Breath of the Wild can be found alongside the walls that show off screenshots taken from the original E3 trailer shown back in 2014. I thought that this was a really cool way to tease the upcoming game, and the ironic part is, Twilight Princess HD released on March 4th of 2016, while Breath of the Wild came out on March 3rd of 2017, almost exactly a whole year apart, so the timing just couldn't have been more appropriate for this one. The last major reference for this video has to deal with Breath of the Wild's most prominent areas, Hyrule Castle and Hyrule Castle Town. Although we have seen many variations of these places across the whole Zelda series, none of them are as close to Breath of the Wild's version as the one found in Twilight Princess. When it comes to the Castle Town portion, both games feature a very similar roadmap structure, consisting of three long central pathways that lead into a grand plaza in the middle, with the road to Hyrule Castle branching off to the north. Despite many of the buildings in this area being crippled down to their basic foundations, there are several details apparent within Breath of the Wild's version that call back to the past, like the iconic fountain in the center of the plaza, and even the red and yellow flags that border it, that have nearly the same design as the ones found in Twilight Princess. Even the castle itself is very similar in design between the games, as they both feature multiple pointed towers that surround the common area in a similar fashion. Other than that though, this area of the map has still undergone many renovations, expansions, and even geographical changes since the events of Twilight Princess, but the developers still made it clear that this area was still heavily inspired by the one in the past game. Considering that Twilight Princess's version of Hyrule Castle is one of my favorite places in the entire series, 
I'm glad that Breath of the Wild version took heavy inspiration from it to create by far one of the coolest locations in the entire game. Anyways, that is all for the Twilight Princess references and easter eggs in this one. Be sure to check out the other three connection videos that it made as well, that deal with Skyward Sword, Ocarina of Time, and the original one for the NES. Also, thank you to my amazing Patreons who help support the channel. I'll leave a link down in the description below if you would like to help me out here as well. Anyways, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already to support the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.